Everyone, how's it going today? Coach Alvarez here, back at you with another episode of Coffee with Coach. Hope you're all doing well. Got the mind in the right place. If not, as always, it's put in the right place. So I wanted to drop a couple gems in your ear real quick before I head up to the academy and get some um, some training in, get some work in. Um, just some stuff I've been listening to. Again, just daily routine, daily, daily habits, going through the thing, listening to the good stuff. And... Um, when I feel like I hear something worth sharing, you know, I feel like it's an obligation to put it out there. Okay. So, um, one of the things I heard is, uh, regret is your guideline. All right. And when I hear, when I heard this, this phrase, this, this quote or whatever, um, and this person kind of go deeper into it, um, it just really caught my attention because I think everyone on the planet earth can relate to, um, this stuff all right uh so again regret is your guideline and what he's talking about um is um it's 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 the uh the guideline to be in your best self now i'm listening to this guy wes watson and reading some of his stuff so i can't really like say it word for word because there's a lot of there's a lot of f-bombs in here so um at least on this channel i keep it clean Maybe one day I'll make my own channel, a separate one, and just kind of speak freely. But at least for here, I got students, teens, whatever, uh, so it's clean. So anyway, I got to reword some of this stuff. But when it comes to uh, regret is your guideline um, to be in your best self, he said it's, it's simply placed in your head by your conscience telling you how to act. When you regret something, there's something that needs to be removed. Simple as that. All right, let me read that again. When you regret something, there is something that needs to be removed. It's a hookup from the universe, from your conscience. Um, they refer to the conscience as the authentic voice of God, of the universe. Adherence to your conscience is your path. Until you learn to walk in line with your conscience, to live in congruence with it, you will forever be plagued by your thoughts, your actions, and your choices. You will not feel whole, okay? You will feel off because you are off. You're making choices based on stuff other people think or any other external influences that aren't coming from your heart. Then the regrets hit you. After the actions and the okay, reword and the choices you make, in all reality, the biggest problem we as humans cause ourselves is trying to convince our minds of something our heart knows is a lie. Anything that causes regret needs to be expelled at once. But isolation is different because of those incur incurable evils. Those things wake me up, not the simple changeable actions we regret in everyday lives. How do we combat these destructive scenarios we are making up in our own heads that drain of us, drain of our, of our energy and cripple us physically? And then he goes on and on and on. All right. So just think about whatever it is um, throughout your day that you regret. Then those are the things that you need to pull away and get those away from me. Like, for instance, you hit the alarm. I don't know how many people I, I talk to about um, training jiu-jitsu or their goals or whatever. And like, for instance, 6 a.m. class. Hey, you said you were coming. What happened? Oh, man, I couldn't get up. This or that. Do you regret it? Yeah, I wish I would have came to class. I saw all the pictures, saw everyone in class. I should have came and trained. Then fix those things. Like, fix those. fix that weak habit that you have of hitting the snooze button and getting up like you're supposed to get up. Like, it's simple. Like, I get up. I'm even getting up earlier now because it's 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 uh, it's getting hotter out. So um, I have to take my dogs for a walk. So the pavement gets hot and I got things I got to do. I've been going up to the school recording a little bit more. So I'm, I'm getting up even earlier than normal. And now my body's just starting to get up on its own. But I've, I've never have, I never have the, ur the, the urge to like, oh, just give me five more minutes. Just give me 10 more minutes. Like, it's just get up. Like, it's just the way that I'm programmed, that I'm built, okay? Um, let's say it's a food. I, I again going back to jujitsu. How many students hovering over the trash can or got to go to the bathroom and don't come out for a while in the middle of a round or in the middle of practice because they don't feel good? What'd you eat? Oh, uh, coach, I had you know pizza, fries, burgers, um, just you know crappy foods. Um, they regret that because if they didn't eat those foods, they would be able to finish practice like they're supposed to, right? So if you remove those things. Um, you know, things get better. I always go to finances because finances is huge. You always have people that like spend money that either they don't have or that they shouldn't spend because it was 
reserved for something else, but they pulled from this account and put it in this other account so they can go have a good time. And after the good time is over and they wake up the next day, there's mad regret because I shouldn't have did that. Like I should, I should have went and had some fun, but I shouldn't have took from this account. And now, you know, I, I got some credit card debt and I got to pay that off and whatever else I got to do. And now I bought something that I shouldn't have bought. And it just, it was like, a, what do people call that? Like uh, when people eat um, in their feelings, you know, emotional eating, okay? Uh, same thing, you know, you emotionally eat and then you regret it afterwards because, you know, you shouldn't eat whatever it is that you ate, you know, so you, you feel bad afterwards. You emotionally shop because you just feel like you need to go buy something to make yourself feel better. And that's not really what it does. It's a quick fix for something that you're feeling emotionally about. And then your bank account is hurting from it. Your credit card statement is hurting from it. Now you got to pay this thing off, so on and so forth. So, um, whatever the case may be, your health, your fitness, like your mental, the way you talk, uh, what you said, um, anything that you regret, uh, is this, is this something that you need to remove from your life so that you can walk better in, in alignment with what, how you really want to be, you know? Um, you know, the thing about all of us is that we're human, so we're always going to make mistakes. But the more and more we're self-conscious of the things that we regret, um, if you stop making those same mistakes over and over again, life just gets easier, life gets better, life gets more plentiful, more fruitful. Um, and to me, like, it's, it's, it's just happier. You know, I try to live that way. Um, I sleep good at night, okay? I When I put my head on the pillow at night, like, the amount of things that I throw out, do throughout my day and the way I try to help people throughout my day, um, like with these videos, I don't have to share these things. It's going to help someone. It's going to it's gonna hit someone. I don't know how many students I've had or someone I run into and be like, man, coach, or, or like people would just comment on a video that I posted, whether it's YouTube, it's Instagram, wherever I put these things at, hey, that really helped. Okay, it's not for everyone. Not everyone wants to hear this stuff. Not everyone wants to improve, but there's a lot of people that do want to improve. They want to get better. They need to hear something throughout their day to put them in the right, put them back on the right path because they veered off of it for some reason. And they need to get back on the right path. So that's what these things are for. These things are for that particular thing, that one person or a couple other, couple people, whatever, might need to hear that. I was talking to a student yesterday, um, and he was telling me, look, I don't listen to all your videos, but the one I did listen to, it really hit home with me and it helped change a lot of things for me. I've had so many people say that. So when you're doing better and you're living better, you can help more people. And then, you you know, you get these things where people say uh, in the jiu-jitsu community, like um, jiu-jitsu black belts shouldn't be life coaches. I disagree with that. If you have a jiu-jitsu black belt coach like myself that has gone through the things that I've gone through, dealt with the things that I've dealt with, like has been as successful in many areas of my life and I can have a young teenager or a young 20 year old or even 30 year olds, you know, four year olds, man, I know four year olds that don't have their stuff together yet. You know what I'm saying? Um, and some of the things that I can share with them can change their life around and put them on a better path then why would I keep that to myself? Why would I not share those things and then help someone else? I don't get anything back from it. I just know somewhere in the universe it'll, it'll pay me back somewhere in the future. But like as a, like a quick return on investment, there is nothing like that. It's just a simple fact that like, hey, someone's hurting, someone's going through some things, someone's life isn't right and I can help them get it right. Why wouldn't I help them get it right? You know, so... There's people out there that need stuff like this. That's why this, because like I said, the whole purpose and the, the 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 whole birth of this coffee with coach thing was a couple of years ago. I got tired of listening to black belts, um, just trash talk each other. It's just, it's so negative. Like it's like that's not what I want to hear. I want to hear more black belts like speak good stuff, do good things, help more people because that's what we're here to do. Like that's I've gone through 25 years, 26 years of, you know, I'm talking just jujitsu. Um, cause I'm obviously older than that, but of all kind of ups and downs on the mat, like I can help people. Okay. I've gone through all kind of things with the houses that I bought, the cars that I bought, the things that I've done, whatever. 
uh, how I improve my life. Like, why wouldn't I share those things with people so they can improve their life if that's what they're looking for? You know, there's a lot of people out there doing really good and maybe they don't need this or there's a lot of people out there that are doing better than me, but there's a lot of people that are not. There's a lot of people that aren't doing good and they are regretting some things. So if you are regretting some things in your life, all you got to do, like he says, is just expel those things, pull them out, get rid of them, start fixing those things. You start healing, you start going on the right path. If it's drinking, you woke up hung over today or you, you slept in till noon and you partied too much last night, fix those things. Okay. Again, you spend too much money. Now your bank account is short your credit card went up and you're going to have trouble paying that next fix those things. Okay. Those things are easier. Your health, that again, that's a big one. It's always it's always those same the same core things. Okay, your 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 mental, the way you talk, you know how how you treat your body, how you eat, you know exercise, and then your financial situation. Like if you fix those things, then everything else just starts to get better. So again, regret is your guideline to like a better life. Like if you just get rid of the things that you regret, things just get better. All right, so. It's about time to go. Hope that helps. You guys have a great weekend. Catch you guys on the next one.